Being a graduate student is difficult enough in its own right. It often feels like there just aren't enough hours in a day to do all that's required, not to mention teaching or doing lab work to fund graduate studies. Imagine doing all of that while raising a young family. Really, for me, um, I think that, that before you have children, you really don't know how much of your um, emotional energy um, and physical energy they're going to take um, and it's going to take to raise your children and that is uh, it's hard to balance against the um, energy you need for the intellectual energy you need to pursue your dissertation um, I think that I had ideas that I would sit a lot uh, sit with my baby and read my book in one hand and you know take care of my child in the other and um, that never happened um, so uh, even uh, checking my email while having twin babies was almost impossible so I think that uh, I learned a lot about myself during the process of um, becoming a mother um, and also um, I think I renewed my commitment to my academic career when I um, had my children. Um, now um, they keep me focused and uh, my time is not my own and so I am much more careful with the way I use it. Merch Cartel is working on his dissertation also in the political science department at UW-Madison. He came to Madison from Turkey in 2007, one year after meeting his wife Jada. They were married in 2008 coming back to UW together so Mert could continue his studies. I think I was well prepared. Mm. The, the, Except the, 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 yeah, the problem she has is that before we had Mira, she would want to sleep, like, Jada would want to sleep like eight hours nonstop. Yes, yes. And if she cannot do that, then she would need to sleep another two hours, three hours during the day. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, that, that, that was what she was, she was used to. But once we had Mira, now, I mean, Mira decides how much we get to sleep, actually. <laughs> Uh, I mean, my first year here in, the, in grad school, actually, I wasn't able to sleep much. I was able to sleep only four hours or five hours, and then I would have to like work on my stuff for like 20 hours a day, actually, for my first year here. So that was the worst time that I had in terms of my sleeping habits, actually. Uh, with Mira, it didn't get any worse than that, actually. So I mean, most of the time, I. I, I don't I don't wake up during the night if she wakes up because Jada wakes up right away. I think um, moving um, to graduate school after being working as a professional was um, quite a lifestyle change for me. Um, becoming a parent, I think one of the things that it that actually being a parent made my life more normal in the context of other people's lives. As a graduate student, you are you have a lot of liberty about when you work, how you what pace you work at. Um, it's easy to get distracted. It's easy to um, be concerned with paying um, uh, this bill or that bill and taking on little extra jobs rather than focusing on um, completing your dissertation or making progress on, in your research. Um, I think that um, having children has um, eliminated a lot of distractions from me, uh, from my life and from the way that I engage um, with my academic career and has made me realize the importance of keeping on task. Um, it has uh, created additional financial burdens, obviously, um, especially in terms of childcare expenses, um, and that has put additional pressure on me to complete my my um, academic career or my dissertation process um, more quickly. Um, I think that. Uh, Ironically, I have um, become a better graduate student um, after having children than perhaps I was um, earlier as a dissertator. And it comes from being more focused now. But she really likes it. <laughs> or the camera. Oh, oh, the camera. Being a final year student in graduate school, I am really stressed out. And now I realize that for the last six months or so, I mean, when I'm really stressed out, I just spend some time with Mira and yeah. she really helps. I mean, she helps me calm down and like, I spend a few minutes or 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever with her. And then when I go back to my work, I feel much better about it. So, I mean, she's really helping me to like, decrease my tension, which is which is really good. I think that's the, that's the positive side. On the other hand, I mean, now we have a family. I mean, we have a small family, but we have a family now, or we are a family now. So that's also good because, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I would say my wife and I, we feel like we have like started over our relationship with the baby now, mm -hmm. which is which is really, it's, it's a really refreshing feeling and we really like it. I think that one of the things I'll miss most about 
um, being a graduate student is um, being here in Madison. Uh, there are so many, uh, first of all, I've had wonderful childcare experiences. So my, the first um, two years of my children were at one of the university-sponsored um, childcare facilities. I was completely confident the entire time that they were being taken care of um, in a loving environment. And uh, I also found that the other, um, just the other uh, opportunities for for uh, engagement for children and, and especially young children, which I think is really difficult, are are uh, abound in Madison. There are so many ways, uh, so many places, so many um, ac um, opportunities, so many activities um, where you ca uh, where children are welcome and are designed for children. Uh, just the zoo, the fact that the the zoo is free and that children and, and that you can take your kid to there every day if you need to, if you need to get out of the house, I think is wonderful for a lot of mothers, young mothers. Um, the Children's Museum is fantastic. Uh, there's a lot of um, activities um, at the Overture Center. There's a lot of activities over the summer. The Madison School District has wonderful um, ch uh, programming for children, even as early as preschool age. So, uh, if uh, I think that if you come to Madison with a family, um, one would be very pleasantly surprised by the number of opportunities, the diversity. Of Merritt is finishing up his dissertation this summer, and the family will be moving to UW-Stevens Point, where Merritt will join the faculty as an assistant professor. Jada couldn't be happier. And, uh, yeah, before Merritt applied to this job, he asked me, and I said, oh, still Wisconsin, and we really love Wisconsin a lot, and people in here, they are so helpful. And for this reason, I said, oh, go for it. <laughs>